30 and out of this world discovery. This object that fell from the sky damaging a home turns out to be debris from the International Space Station. NASA says it was part of a space station cargo pallet and it tore through two stories of a Naples home. So NASA thought it would burn up before it got back to Earth. As Wake News reporter Annalise Iraola tells us, that space junk was launched three years ago. At first, we didn't know what it was or where it came from. Is he heavy? Oh, yeah. Holy cow. But now we have answers from NASA. So many people thought, well, that's from an airplane that, you know, it could have been, you know, a meteorite and, and it could have been true. But after pulling it out and, and looking at it and observing it, and I knew it was uh, something that must have crossed the atmosphere. I spoke with Alejandro Otero a month ago about the strange object that crashed through his roof. I was shaken. I was uh, completely uh, in disbelief. Uh, what are the chances to something of something landing on my house uh, with, with such force to cause so much damage and and you know totally you know I'm super grateful that nobody got hurt. NASA collected and analyzed the object. Turns out it was from the International Space Station cargo pallet that's been floating in space since 2021. Alejandro, what was your reaction? What was it like to hear NASA confirm what you believed all along? I was happy to be right because um, then it clears it all out. It makes sure now we know, you know, where it came from. So it came from the International Space Station, like I suspected. So it was good to know. Most of the cargo was supposed to burn up during entry into the Earth's atmosphere, but not all of it did. NASA confirmed the object is a stanchion from the NASA flight support equipment used to mount the batteries on the cargo pallet. Alejandro says he's learned something from the ordeal. I have learned that, um, well, there's something else to worry about now, not just not only hurricanes, but something beyond our skies. Annalise Iraola, Wink News. Always oh, something. In a post, NASA said it remains committed to mitigating as much risk as possible to protect people on Earth when space hardware has to be released. What a shock it was, but now at least we have some answers as to what it really was. Aren't you amazed that it didn't burn up before it got to Earth? And the amount of time it took to, yeah. get, to get here. Yeah, it's a long way. Space. What is, you'll, never hear, you'll never hear that story somewhere <laughs> yeah. else. Up next, at